Hey, welcome back to another episode of Aptera Reboot. Today, we're going to take a look at what's been happening with Aptera for the last couple of weeks. A lot's been going on since my last video. Aptera released new images of the all-new Soul Alpha prototype. Also, Aptera appoints Janice son Burlingame as their new chief financial officer. The Senate Committee on Finance advanced legislation on Wednesday to make some significant change to the EV tax credit, which might affect Aptera. We'll take a look at Aptera in the news and some of their social media posts. First, Aptera released images of their alpha prototype, the Aptera Soul. The Soul is only the second prototype built by Aptera. The previous version was the tri-motor all-wheel drive Aptera Noir. The Soul, on the other hand, is a dual-motor front-wheel drive vehicle. From the images Aptera has released, it looks to be equipped with solar roof, but there's no mention of battery size or other specs. Looking at the images, it looks like there might be a bigger screen, and it also looks like there may have been some modifications done to the inner portion of the front wheel hubs, but I can't say for sure if this is true. Looking at a video Aptera posted on Twitter, it looks like the door to the Aptera sole can close automatically, at least on the driver's side. Uh, as you can see, you can see a passenger exiting the vehicle, uh, but it doesn't look like they push the door all the way down. It looks like the door kind of um, closes on its own. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm hoping that is actually a feature where the, the, the doors are automatic. That would make it a lot more like the Falcon doors on the Model X, which would be super cool. So I'm really looking forward to Aptera releasing additional information about their new Soul prototype. Hopefully we'll get to see the new Soul on the track soon and we'll get a deeper look at what the specs are. Something interesting that happened this week is Aptera hiring Janice son Berlingame to be the company's new chief financial officer. In the announcement, they emphasized, and I quote, as the senior financial executive for this fast growing startup, she will play a vital role in the company's key initiatives, charting a roadmap for Aptera Motors to become a world class public company. They go on to say Janice has steered over a dozen initial public offerings, IPOs, for domestic and international Fortune 500 companies across a variety of industries. Prior to joining Aptera, she served as the executive director for a global pharmaceutical company, where she led its Asia IPO and ensured regulatory compliance with domestic and international guidelines. Now, we already know that Aptera has filed paperwork with the SEC to be able to raise funds on their own, but now it looks like their goal, at least within the next few years, is to be able to go public via IPO, SPAC, or other method. Janie's role will be very important as Aptera will be needing a lot of cash in the next few years as they scale production of the Aptera and prepare new lines for their upcoming five-passenger vehicle. As exciting as those two pieces of news have been, the most interesting thing that happened this week is the Senate Committee on Finance moving forward a bill to modify the existing vehicle tax credit the proposed piece of legislation is called the Clean Energy for America Act, and what it would do is potentially increase the electric vehicle tax credit up to $12,500. The current federal tax credit for electric vehicles stands at $7,500, but this new bill would add an additional $2,500 for EVs made in the U.S., as well as another $2,500 if it's made by union workers. So basically, if you have an electric vehicle manufactured in the U.S., by union workers, you're looking at getting a $12,500 credit from the federal government, which is huge. The main issue here has been that Aptera had not qualified for this tax credit, being that it's a three-wheel vehicle, which, make it, which makes it an auto cycle. But looking at the new proposed modifications, it looks like Aptera would be eligible for up to $10,000 in vehicle tax credit. The only portion that Aptera would not qualify for is the additional $2,500 for EVs built by union labor, uh, which Aptera is, as far as I know, as of today, is not a union shop, so they would not qualify for that last uh, $2,500. However, you can still get up to $10,000 in federal tax credit, which would bring the base price of the Aptera down to about $16,000, which is a pretty big deal. If this passes the Senate and the House and signed into law, you're looking at buying an Aptera for just under $17,000. Wow, that is a nice big discount. If you're interested in having this proposed legislation become law, contact your senators, contact your representatives, and let them know how you feel about this bill. If you like the show so far, please hit that like button. It's one of the metrics that YouTube uses to figure out how hard they should work on sharing this video. 
Okay, so now let's take a quick look and see who has been reporting on Aptera in the news. It looks like there are quite a few articles featuring the new Aptera Soul. You can find these articles uh, written by Interesting Engineering, some by uh, Inside EVs, as well as Auto Evolution. I'll be posting links to these articles, so if you're interested in a quick read, just go ahead and uh, take a look at the description below and you will find them there. Now let's take a quick look at some of Aptera's social media posts this week. The first is from a couple of weeks ago when Aptera released images of the soul. In the post they mentioned to look forward uh, to a brand new video, more footage of the soul and its pilot coming soon. Replying to the Aptera soul post, Melvin DeVries asks, Dear Aptera, when can I have one on European plates? To which Aptera replied, Hi Melvin, we are working hard to make this happen as soon as possible. Next, we have another post from Aptera Motors saying, Hey guys, we can't wait to share more footage of Seoul, Aptera's second alpha vehicle. These behind the scenes videos from Seoul's journey along Coast Highway 101, captured by the Aptera team, are building excitement as we get closer to Seoul's official debut. Get ready. Then we have Oz Malifant asking, any chance of using the Tesla supercharger network? That's the only reason for me not to go to another brand at the moment. To which Aptera replied, possibly, but we won't know for sure until closer to production. The great thing is, any 110 volt outlet in your garage can charge the Aptera back 150 miles overnight. Then we have Rich Rodriguez saying, keep up the awesome work, well done, charge on. To which Aptera replied, thanks so much, we appreciate your support. Then we have PJ Herder. Uh, saying, Seoul is looking good. The program is tracking well. Signing up as an ambassador. Aptera replied, Thank you. We greatly appreciate your support and would love to have you as an ambassador. Next, we have YN5 posting an image of an Aptera Soul with a shark face decal. And uh, his post says, Custom decal ideas? To which Aptera replied, Cool idea. So there might be some custom front fascia decals coming to Aptera. Then we have Charlie Electric's post saying, um, Beach, mountains, valleys. How is Soul data looking? Any forecasted production start date? Aptera replies, Hi Charlie, we are working to finish our development and validation program by the end of the year. This will allow us to begin delivering the first vehicles this year, then ramping up production in 2022. So it looks like Aptera is still sticking to the same timeline with uh, finishing up their validation. I know that there's a lot of I know that they have plans to build at least a dozen more of the Apteras uh, over the summer for um, crash safety and other validation testing. And it looks like, yeah, their goal is still to have at least some of their vehicles delivered by the end of this year and ramping up production in 2022. Very exciting news. Next, we have Aptera making a post on April 12th saying Aptera. At Aptera, we take seating very seriously. Our SUVs seat two people plus a pet. Accommodating those up to six foot seven inches in height, we strive to provide seats that people rave about, designing them to be as comfortable and lightweight as possible. Then John Frank replied to this post asking, how easy is it to exit the car? How high is the seat off the road? Aptera replied to John saying, hi John, they're around 16 inches now, but that may be a bit lower in production. Please feel free to reach out to us at info at with any more questions. Next, we have Baby Tesla saying, In LA showroom or something along those lines would be great too. Aptera replies, We hope to do some demos and test drives in the near future. We'll keep you posted on our social media channels as plans develop. No, definitely a showroom would be exciting. I'm in Florida, but if a showroom opened in California, I would probably make the trip just to see what the Aptera is all about because I'm very excited about this vehicle coming out and I want to have a first-hand look at and I want to experience firsthand what it looks like, what it feels like to sit inside, and hopefully soon what it actually feels like to ride. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Aptera opening, opening up a showroom where um, uh, customers or... Um, reservation holders are able to uh, get get a very close look at the Aptera and hopefully get a test drive in the Aptera as well. Next we have Aptera posting on May 27th, me Janice Berlingham, Aptera's new addition to the leadership team. As CFO Janice is poised, Janice is poised to accelerate Aptera's speed to market during this pivotal time in our growth trajectory. To learn more about Janice, read the full release here. Next we have Dan Hyman asking, what security or vehicle tracking are you planning? 
I'll be keeping mine on the streets of London, thanks. To which Aptera replied, we know security is important and we are working with companies now that specialize in this tech. Stay tuned for announcements on the specifics. Then we have another post from YN5 asking, can we tell by our pre-order number where we are in the queue? To which Aptera replied, thanks for the question. Your reservation number is not directly indicative of when you can anticipate your vehicle delivery. Our team will reach out to all pre-order holders with more detailed timeline once we are nearing the start of production. The last post from Aptera is on May the 24th where they show the Aptera where they show the brand new Aptera Soul perched up on the hillside right off the coastline with some uh, nice uh, parasailers just kind of floating about. And uh, the post reads, it all started with our founder's dream of a more efficient way to travel. Now, we are thrilled to announce that Aptera has over 10,000 reservation holders from around the world. Together, we have the chance to create a better future for people and the planet. Well, Aptera, we're all here supporting you on that mission. And if you're interested in following more developments with Aptera, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Well, I hope you appreciated this episode. Please support us via our Patreon link as well as our merch store. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next week.